Hello everyone. Well, today I wanted to share a story um, that happened recently in my life. So, uh, as you know, or if you don't, I'm living in the streets right now. And uh, I received the last week help from um, some people that work in an institution nearby where I I used to sleep. It's a big it's a institution. First the the coordinator, the big chief, came to me and offered help. Well, her help has been consistent uh, as long as she ha can. In fact, she help, she uh, she offered me help uh, not uh, this week, but uh, the previous week. And uh, the previous week, I received also help from the employees. It was on uh, Friday, you know, but they started to help me like on uh, Monday. And uh, on Monday, they gave me a lot of food. Uh, yeah, they say they could help me food wise. And uh, they gave me a lot of food. I was really fed at uh, that day. The day after, also, I did receive a lot of food. But in that day, one of the employees asked me if I needed, if I wanted to get a job in the cleaning service and I I was thinking is that uh, what I need to do right now is that what is going to bring me more more of abundance or more of stability or is going to really get me out of this situation and I, and while I was thinking, because the answer didn't come right away, she said, oh, that's fine. You can uh, think, if you tell me something later, okay? Thank you very much, anyway. So this was in the afternoon. Um, and, uh, before the evening, I received also a lot of food from the restaurant, and the remaining food, I think. And uh, yeah, I, I've eaten really well these two days. And um, then suddenly they stopped. They stopped to offer me food, they stopped to, you know, I just felt an energy of avoidance, you know. And I didn't realize yet why, and I didn't, so. But, you know, the coordinator uh, has been really consistent and that the day after that brought me some food and some products to for my team and I was really really grateful and um, then I realized you know like yesterday I realized that uh, that helped stopped because I didn't accept the job to clean ser to, to the cleaning service even though I told I was meant to think I ne I, I, I didn't give a, a answer yet but I realized it was because of that so uh the offer of help was conditioning 
conditioned by my acceptance of being um, of, of of accepting that um, job offer, and I realized that uh, I had this limiting belief about receiving that was uh, transmitted by my grandmother, especially the relationship with my grandmother, but uh, also in my family in general and also other relationships. But uh, the, the main source was my grandmother. Because every time she gave me something, she would uh, make a condition, like, you have to clean your room. So cleaning, yeah, cleaning, <laughs> clean your room, or uh, you have to, you know, do something I, that I didn't like to do, but I had to, you know, to in order to receive. So, uh, even though I was sad, because I realized that and, and the information came and it was like, really? Um, I could really imperfectly uh, understand if uh, I, I was the one asking for help and, um, you know, uh, they could help me under the condition, yeah. But uh, as there was one who, who offered the help, and at the beginning they didn't say anything about conditioning their help uh, as uh, that situation, you know. For me, it was really sad because. Um, I received help before, even if it was like one time from a, a specific person. And it was uh, an unconditional help, you know, like, uh, well, I want to help you now. Do you accept? Yes, I do. Thank you. And uh, I was really grateful and I I'm still am. I still am. And I still am grateful for this help that I received from them. Um, but um, it really was disappointing for me to realize that um, that offer was attached to the um, condition and that they even stop to really get to know me or get to understand uh, who I am and what, what were my needs or if they could help me in a different way, you know? And that, uh, that really was disappointing for me. And... Um, I realized it was my shadow work, my shadow work that needed to be done, and they were propelling, you know, me to release what no longer served me, that limiting belief. And um, I'm grateful for that. But I wanted to really. Uh, use their situation as an example and uh, ask uh, you to really if you do help someone help it with you what you have what what you can how you can but don't do it under a condition if you only can help once help once, if you only can help twice, help twice. The judgmental uh, behavior that we as a humankind have, s sometimes it can be really um, 
destructive and uh, I was also judgmental before I am in this situation because I always heard my family especially my grandmother asking telling that uh, people that live in the streets don't want to work don't want to do anything they they just uh, yeah they just want to be uh, yeah she used to turn like parasites of the society you know that's how I was teach to see people in this condition and I and now that I am and I realize who I was how hard working I was when what put me in this condition I'm still trying to um, go forward with my my own business even though I am in the streets Things are different, you know, and I'm, I, I'm, I, I know that not everyone is, it's like me, you know, but I, I realize I, I don't have to judge anyone. I don't have to judge. If I can really help, if I, I'm in a position to help that person, even though it's once or twice or maybe more you know i have to do it unconditionally with the uh, without uh, expectations or without um, judgment you know and if i do it i want to do it for me and uh, even though i was teach this way uh when i was helping somebody and this condition, I just gave it. If I had um, the possibility to give um, money, I would just give. And um, in fact, I would fall. In fact, I would try to follow my instinct. But now, I, if I want to give, I will give and whatever, you know. Um, and maybe create a difference when I am in a better position. Maybe create a difference in um, someone's life, like uh, the people that helped me made in mine. And that's it. I wanted to share the situation. Thank you very much for listening. Love you all.